So, this is Obscure Terrain. Yes, I'm Wade McMahon. And I'm Wesley Solis, and we're coming at you with a, an outro um, video, I guess. <laughs> We got this cool scenery behind us. So basically, it was a mission failed. We didn't go from Three Rivers to South Forks. It rained way, way too much. It rained way too much. We started off the day, it was nice actually. It, it wasn't too much cloud coverage. Actually, there wasn't any cloud coverage no, when we first wasn't. started. Clear and blue skies. Yeah, for the first five hours, or what, five or four? Four, four. Four hours of the hike, it was nice. Like. Uh, we saw a couple hikers, and one guy we saw, he said, uh, be prepared because I think it's supposed to, uh, or there's flash flood uh, warnings. And uh, we knew that there was chances of rain, and then it just started raining on us probably an hour after we saw him. Yeah, um, and we made it to like a little um, campsite, and we were able to make camp and stay relatively dry. Oh, one other thing too, it wasn't only rain, it was a thunderstorm. There was lightning striking everywhere around us. So that was a little nerve wracking. Especially because I have a seven foot long Samburu spear that's metal and metal. <laughs> the center part is wood, but something tells me that I'll still get shocked. Even shocked if I'm holding the wooden part. <laughs> it just explode. <laughs> I've actually, in my lifetime, I was like maybe like eight feet away from where lightning struck. And that shit's horrible. It's so hot. It yeah. puts off so much heat. We think, we think actually, just real quick, we think uh, when we were coming back, there was a tree that fell into the, the trail, and we think it got struck by lightning. Yeah, because it was definitely a fresh tree. Still yeah. had all its limbs. Because we just went on that trail, and we were coming back. It had all its limbs. It had everything. It looks like it got smashed the night before. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, so back to what Wesley was saying when we made it to camp. Uh, it was it was raining. We made a quick lean-to type shelter with yep. our tarps and our spear. Yeah, and we, we waited he for He finally a, got to use his spear to do a lean-to. So we just waited for the rain to break and in that time we set up camp and we had a lot of difficulty getting the fire going. Yeah. Cuz all the fuel in the area was soaking wet. So we had to sacrifice a sterno can. But we got it going actually, and we dried off tons of wood. We got it, we got it raging pretty good. Uh, we tried to make the rocks where it made a dome shape over the fire pit, so uh, if it did start raining, we can keep the coals kind of hot. But uh, it actually gave us a break for what, like a few hours. Yeah, it and wasn't until we decided to like, what was it, like around 11 o'clock at night when it started raining? Yeah, I think so. We were already in our tents when it started raining. Mm-hmm. But we were able to dry the clothes off that we had and stuff. And uh... But unfortunately, um, the tents, you know, for most of the night, I was pretty dry. But then already towards like 5 or 6 in the morning, um, my feet were starting to get wet and things of that nature just because. Yeah, I think, if, I, think at, I looked at my phone and it was 8.30 a.m. And that's when I felt a, a raindrop or some, yeah, I think it had to have been from the rain. Fell through the screen of my tent, and it hit me in the face. And I was like, "Well, I guess that's all I can handle." Because it it was raining hard. Like literally, it was sounded like it, it was loud. It was yeah. super loud. The we whole, had our the whole up? night, man. I couldn't yeah. even hear my own thoughts in the tent. Nah, it was not just at like all. loud. Just bam, 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 bam. Sound like I was inside a snare drum. Yeah, <laughs> it was hard to sleep. And also it had me on edge too, cause I'm like, ah, man, I don't know if this is gonna stop. Are, are we gonna be able to continue? What's gonna happen? How are we gonna pack our tents up if it's still raining? Are we gonna, is everything gonna get soaked? And Are we gonna be wet the next day? Are we gonna succumb to hypothermia when we get higher up in elevation? Yeah, cause it was pretty cold up there. I think it fell into the 50s. Yeah, And uh, 50 degrees, it was soaking wet, is hypothermia city, for sure. But, uh. We woke up, and I, I started packing everything in my tent right away. I had to, I had to use a bathroom, so that's what I was doing. And I was like, you know, what? I'm not, I'm gonna about to step out in the rain. I'm just gonna pack everything. So I got uh, got out of my tent, and I went down to the creek just to see. And the creek, I think the creek rose about a foot. 
So that's when I was like, you know what, We're, we should not continue. This is not a good idea. We should get down while we still can before the creek becomes, because we had to cross it multiple times And on there the were way multiple up. times crossing it on the way down when we were coming back to that. It was kind of sketchy because it was already overflowing with water. Yeah. We had to do some weird little maneuvers. And it's difficult, skip, like jumping from rock to rock with a 45-pound pack on you. Yeah. It throws off your entire balance and stuff, so... Yeah, and you don't want to slip and fall and smash your face into it. Or break your back and be stuck on the mountain. Mm-hmm. So we just started trudging down. Uh, uh, after we got the camp and everything uh, torn down, we uh, we ate a quick, uh, quick breakfast, a cold okay. breakfast, and then uh, we got our packs on and just hit the trail. And we just, I think we took maybe two breaks. And one of the breaks was to go check out a waterfall that was pretty awesome. We heard it and we we're like, oh, that sounds like a waterfall. There wasn't water there uh, yesterday when we climbed up. And we caught it on film, brought yeah. it back to you guys. Oh, yeah. We were soaked by then. We didn't even care. We were walking through water at that yeah. point. It was just like, who cares? Like, my feet are, were soaked. My underwear was wet. And my socks were wet. So yeah. basically, that means I'm wet. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was freaking wet. And it... Uh, I calculated the time, and uh, I, I believe it's about 16 hours, 16 hours of just rainfall, and yep. not, not just light drizzle. Sometimes it'd go to light drizzle, but mo majority of the time, it was heavy, Yep. heavy rainfall, Pounding. and the trail disappeared underwater as well, so we were just yep. basically walking in a pool. Yep. Our freaking toes got to sit in water Yep. for the whole way back, but yep. it's okay. Yep. We still got that waterfall on camera, and that, that's what counts. Yep. Even though it's a mission fail, we yep. still had a smile on our face, and we took away a lot of lessons on this one. We need better rain gear, for sure. Uh-huh. We need to be a little bit, just understand the rain a little bit better. I don't yeah. know. Well, I don't know. It's not much, to not much you can do when it's just downpouring on you. Yeah. It's just, like, what do you do? Like we found, we found a, a little overhang with a rock, but that was someone else's home. Yep. And when I say someone else's, I'm talking about a predatorial creature. Yep, because our dog, he was not having it. He yep. had his tail with a crook in it like no other, and he was sniffing around. And most of the time, he's always quick to get cozy into a little ball, but he did not. He did not at all. No. He was on edge. And you can see back a little farther into the little, under the rock. Well, it was a big rock. I say a little rock, but it was huge. It, and there was, it went, up, it went back at least 20 feet. And I could see like a nesting area. Yep. So. Well, how, do you, how do you feel about this? I feel like it sucks to have two mission fails in a row. But at the same time, we still got farther than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just kidding guys i'm glad we got that waterfall and y'all get to see it on camera that, that makes me happy uh-huh so you know we said we we're gonna get that waterfall on video and we did so that was what was great yep so i it was fun it was interesting it was definitely a different experience yeah uh so the I, longest i've been in rain like unsheltered from rain is definitely I, a personal record Yep, me too. And I burnt my boots and my socks because I was trying to dry them. And I didn't realize how hot the rocks <laughs> got around it. And I forgot about my boot. My bad. But... Yep. So, subscriber, if you want to be awesome, buy Wade some, some awesome boots. Yeah, they, they were Columbia boots. <laughs> I can still use them, but... Eh, They're yeah. not waterproof anymore, that's <laughs> no, for sure. That's for sure. But as always, oh. it was fun. Make sure to like and subscribe. Yes. And bang the bell. Ding. Ding. <laughs>